Socrates does not fear death because he believes that the soul is immortal. In fact, he just doesn't believe that the soul is immortal. He thinks he knows that the soul is immortal. He gives several arguments and proofs showing that the soul is in fact immortal. And so this is one of the reasons why he's not scared of death. He thinks that death is not the end and that he's going to another place after his body dies. Socrates also believes that you cannot harm a good man. They are putting Socrates to death for corrupting the youth and atheism. So, so he has the death penalty. They're going to kill him. But he thinks that even the people that are sentencing him to death, they cannot really harm him. Why? Because they can kill his body, but he's going to be rewarded in the afterlife because he is acting as virtuously as he can. In this sense, you cannot harm a good person if there is an afterlife where justice is going to be served, where the virtuous person and the vicious person, the wicked person, receive what is coming to them. And so these two things combined, the idea that the soul is immortal and Socrates is going to live on after death and the idea that you cannot harm a virtuous person, both of these together lead Socrates to not fear death. The reason why you probably fear death is that you grew up in the modern world. You grew up in a culture that looks down upon the reality of the immaterial world. In fact, just hearing that there are proofs that show that the soul is immortal may seem kind of strange to you because you probably thought that all of this stuff is, is fantasy. It's all fiction. It's all just faith alone. But in reality, some of the greatest philosophers throughout history have given proofs that the soul is immortal and other proofs about things that are immaterial. But the culture that we live in, we are all influenced by the culture that we are in. And in the culture that we are in, the main philosophers that have had, that have had the greatest influence are philosophers like these that are on the screen right now. People like Bertrand Russell, people like Nietzsche, people like Marx. So if this is you right here, I mean, you're influenced by all of these materialistic philosophers. These philosophers, they don't believe that there is any immaterial world. And whether you know it or not, you are influenced by philosophers like this because their ideas seep in to the culture. I mean, that is the power of philosophy. The philosopher presents their philosophy to the world and then that philosophy seeps into the culture. It seeps in through movies, through books, through teachers and uh, various other ways.